Hello, welcome back to Xenosaga, I mean Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, plants. This time, robot thing. Uh, yeah, uh, th this blade is literally just Xenosaga character. Uh, I, I know almost nothing about Xenosaga. I've watched the entire anime, but I haven't played any of the video games. So, I only know, like, what? Well, let's just say e each game, because there's like three of them. Uh, each game has, like, the same amount of lore as the other ones, which is not true at all. Uh, I know one-third of there is to know about Xenosaga, but obviously that's not true, because I'm pretty sure that the third game and the second game have much more lore than the first one, and also the anime isn't 100% accurate to the first game, though it is based on the first game. So, uh, yeah, I... I know nothing about Xenosaga, I can just say that. But I do recommend watching the Xenosaga anime. It's not the best anime ever, but hey, it's cool. It's interesting to see that there's actually like an anime based on, uh, well, something from this franchise, kind of, even though Xenoblade and Xenosaga are kind of separated. They're still part of Xeno, I guess. And like, this blade here is like one of two connections to, uh, Xenosaga that there are in Xenoblade, at least as of now. I don't know about Xenoblade 3, I don't know how that's gonna be. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, so, uh, th this is a side quest with Xenosaga Blade. Yay! Cosmos. Obey strategical multiple operation systems. All systems operational. Are you my master? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the Zero like anime, there's like a crap ton of like voice actors, at least in the dub, uh that are the voice actually uh they they actually have pretty big voice roles in other uh, dubs of anime, so that's kind of cool. I don't know much about the Japanese cast for the anime, though. Uh, I just know I recognize, like, uh, quite a bit of the uh, English voice actors. Anyway, so to start the side quest, we just want to go all the way to the freaking edge of this thing. Whenever I freaking see uh, more Dane, I immediately think of, like, uh... I immediately think of, like, the Mechonis from Xenoblade 1. That's not spoilers. The Mechon- The Mechonis existing isn't spoilers for Xenoblade 1, because, I mean, uh... The Mechonis is literally in the first scene, so, yeah, I can- I can say stuff from Xenoblade 1 like that. It's not bad. Oh, let's see. Mick made a crap ton of these garbage robot things, at least they don't attack me. I might wonder if that's part of the side quest is those robots, yeah. Let's see... Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, so the side quest should start as soon as I get to that point right there, yeah. Something the matter, Zeke? Uh, take a look over there. Something's clearly not right. Would you look at that? It's the blade bots. Thanks, Mick. Those are artificial blades. So many too. Why are they all gathered here? How can I identify no uh, regular pattern in their movements? Uh, most likely, the command systems are no longer functional. Yeah, that's because the best character is dead. Sadly. They don't have any orders, but they're just gathering here on their own. Is that even possible? Uh, is this some kind of berserk state? Uh, perhaps uh, not quite so simple. Uh, but that understanding will suffice. Initializing simulation. Uh, a search of the area indicates uh, that a total of 67 artificial blades are active nearby. If we leave uh, the situation unaddressed, it's highly likely that more artificial blades shall emerge. Uh, considering all available options, the most prudent course of action would be to eliminate them all right now. Uh, you want us to fight those 
all these things? All of them? Are you crazy? No, uh, Cosmos isn't crazy. Uh, it, it would be easy. You're level 99. Come on. Uh, Cosmos is right. Uh, by the way, uh, I believe the uh, anime actually pronounces it differently from this scan, but that doesn't matter. And also, the you know, so like a game itself might also pronounce it differently too. I, I don't actually know the correct pronunciation anymore because, yeah, Cosmos, Cosmos. I believe the anime pronounces it Cosmos, and that's the first time I ever heard Cosmos' name, so. Uh, that's how I'm gonna go with it. Uh, Cosmos is right though. Uh, there's no telling. Uh,. What might happen if we just leave them like this? Uh, we should scrap them before they cause any harm. Hey, Ghostbus, do you think we can uh, actually beat all these things? It is possible. Uh, with this number of enemies, the probability of our complete defeat is under 12%. Hold on, that doesn't sound like a sure thing. But you have like an 88% chance of winning. That's pretty good. That's like, that's a passing score on a test. Uh, it is difficult to predict uh, what may happen during uh, combat. Uh, this probability uh, seems within the bounds of uh, acceptable risk for combat-related uh, activity. Uh, you're scarily calm about this stuff, you know that? Uh, the more blades enter a berserk state, uh, the higher the risk will become. Uh, please give the order to commence uh, combat as soon as possible. Alright, let's do this then. Here goes nothing. Side quest received! Let's beat the crap out of some robots then. There's only three. Oh, they're weak to a light element, which is the uh, same element that goes most things, I believe. So that's pretty good. Have one left. I wonder if I can go and get a level 4 off. I probably won't be able to. Yeah, it's dead already. I wanted to get up a level 4, but I couldn't. Maybe I'll try that next battle, because there's going to be a few of these during the side quest. Confirming increase of enemy activity. Awaiting permission to continue combat. No, it's no good. We'll never get through them all. Cosmos, it seems best to withdraw and regroup for now. If we withdraw now, we risk major damage to multiple locations. Total annihilation of hostile units would be optimum at present. Girl, there are too many of them. That's pretty clear. Yeah, mess up, and we're the ones who are going to get annihilated. There should be no problem. All allies, please move away from me for a moment. Scanning for enemy targets. Locked on to all hostile unit signatures in World Tree vicinity. Releasing safety lock. Cosmos? Face switch ordinance activated. Confirming 75% reduction of enemy capability. Initiating neutralization of remaining enemy capability. Rex, is something wrong? Uh, no. Go ahead. Initiate, um, neutralization. We only got two left. Okay. Spinning! 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 
Alright, let's see if I can actually get a little 4 up with this fight. It probably won't, but I'm gonna try. We got a level 3. Oh, we actually will be able to get it up. Cool. There we go. It's dead. That was pretty easy. About 92% of enemy forces neutralized. Remaining enemy forces incapable of proceeding with combat. Any risk of reinforcements? A uh, search of the area reveals no sign of new units emerging. It, incredible. How uh, you really take out all those enemies? You say we, but mostly it's down to that crazy power of Cosmoses. Yes, I will continue to pronounce it that way because I watch the Xenos like an anime. Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, it uh, really was crazy powerful. I've never seen anything like it. I merely selected the optimal course of action after analyzing all alternatives. Was my solution excessive? No, though, you did fine. Yeah, if it weren't for you, we'd have never got been that lot. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, okay. Uh, bad attack to use, though. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was detected in neighboring countries. Yeah, I recognize that light would have been visible from Tantel and Moradain, at least. Um, so... Uh... Have we accidentally caused a bit of international commotion? Uh, the national leaders uh, may need to be warned about these artificial blades as well. Perhaps our next course of action should be to report into King Eulogiminos. Why him? Uh, yeah, we better, uh, explain ourselves and clear up any misunderstandings. Uh, my old man can be, uh, can get pretty antsy. Let's go to the Escaldia Palace. Uh, I'd set his mind at ease. And now we go and teleport, because that's most definitely what skip traveling is, yeah. This is the area, yeah. Journeys make Dora tired. What will we find? And let's see, okay. I see. Then the light that was reported coming from the world tree was an attack performed by this blade. It is uh, quite difficult to believe that a single blade could produce uh, such a remarkable levels of energy. Uh, you got that right. I saw it myself and I still had trouble believing it. But it's the truth. Uh, were it not for Cosmos's attack, uh, we would have all been undefeated by those rogue artificial blades. Are you sure? You're level 99. Uh, hmm. Well, as long as you have that power safely under control, I suppose it is not a problem. Thank you for your explanation. Uh, regarding the artificial blades, they are indeed a worrying development. Uh, they are capable of flight, yes? Uh, it seems difficult to guarantee that they will remain on the world tree. Uh, there is a very real possibility that Berserk Artificial Blades could end up descending upon nearby nations. True enough. Uh, I'll make use of the Chantel military in strength and surveillance around the world tree. Uh, we are most grateful for your wise decision, Your Majesty. However, I feel uh, we will need the cooperations of the other nations in this matter. Uh, what do you say, Lady Morag? Will you lend me uh, your aid in this? But of course! Uh, I will report this incident, this incident to Moradain and advise His Majesty of the Emperor to make, you know, to take a suitable prevention, pre preventative action. Uh, you have my thanks, Lady Morag. I leave the Emperor to you then. Oh uh, yes, uh, one more thing. Uh, there's a request I would like to make of you all. A request? What's all this about then? Enter please. Who's that? Someone you know, Shellad? Hmm, I can't say I recognize her. Uh, pleased to meet you, Uncle. My name is Estelle. I hope we will get along. 
uh, uncle, what's going on here, Pops? Uh, this young later lady is the daughter of your cousin. Uh, it is perhaps no surprise that you were, uh, not aware of her existence. Uh, she was born after you left this country, after all. Strictly speaking, that makes us first cousin once removed. I hope you don't uh, mind me addressing you as uncle. Uh, I don't know uh, uh, what I'm meant to do with the niece or cousin or whatever you are. Well, well, well. Uh, isn't this the sweetest little family reunion, uncle? <laughs> Shut up, you. Despite her youth, it still is something of a prodigy who has read all the books how is that possible? Zeke said there's like 10 million books there. Oh, whatever. I fear that she may have begun to grow tired of living cooped up here in Tantal. Uh, she is quite the spirited young lady. Uh, most recently, she has expressed a deep desire to explore the land of Morda. You're That's not safe. Uh, of course, I told her uh, I cannot possibly allow such dangerous outing. Good on you for once. But now she is insisting on visiting all the other nations of all rest before they seek entirely. I believe it was you who said I would do well to see the world, your majesty. I am simply trying to live up to your expectations. Uh, you see uh, what I have to deal with. Uh, I don't know where she gets this willful nature from, but once she sets her mind on something, there's no changing it. As such, uh, while I must apologize for the trouble, uh, might I ask you to take her with you on your trip to Borodan? I take this girl with us on some international tour. Uh, we're not traveling just for the fun of it, you know. I'm quite aware of that, thank you very much. Thank you, no. Uh, but you needn't worry about me. I won't cause any trouble. In fact, I may be able to assist you in some way, uncle. Er, uh, enough with the uncle thing. Can I at least be like a big brother or something? If you insist, uh, let's have a lovely trip together, big bro. Nia, what the fuck? Um, my prince, uh, forgive me for saying so, but you're creeping me out a little. Oh, for the... Hey, what's your name? I am Cosmos, not Cosmos, Cos... Anything else, I will pronounce it Cosmos forever, until the day I die. Xenosaga anime for life, what if they don't even pronounce it that way in the anime? That'd be hilarious. Cosmos, Cosmos, co Cosmos. That's a uh, funny sort of name. You're a blade, aren't you? Yes! That's a pretty unusual body you got there. No, it's pretty normal for blade standards. It's almost like your part machine. Are the machines, uh, are the main parts, wait, well, I can't read. Are the machine parts and human parts, uh, connected somehow? Do you have some kind of problem with my body? Problem? No, no problem. Uh, hey, uh, would you mind if I tanker around with some of the, the bits inside? I cannot permit that. Even if my master were to order me directly, I would, I could not comply. I thought you might say that. A shame, a shame. Oh well, it's going to be a pleasure traveling with you, Cosmos. I look forward to it still. Uh, shall we uh, leave once then? What well, big bro, you lead the way. Ugh. Uh, what are you making that look for, big bro? Uh, we're leaving you behind, big bro. <laughs> well, you give it a rest already. Poor Zeke. So, let's go and skip shelter more ordain already. Let's get out of here. Let's get rid of the ugly man. Get away from him. Oh, uh, where the frig is more ordain? There it is. Uh, yeah, this is probably the closest place. I don't know. Artificial blades. Just what we need. Zeke, help with Estelle's safe withdrawal. No sweat. 
locking on to surrounding enemies, making ballistic calculations, minimizing damage to urban area. Wonderful! Oh, what a sight! Sincere apologies. I was unable to completely annihilate the enemies. No, that's plenty. We got the rest. You're picking a fight. Let us fertilize the robo things. Yes. Okay. That one's good? Okay, let's move on the next one. Death Roy, you can go into a thing. That one's dead, good. Okay. Yeah, that one's dead. Yeah, one. I usually are incredible, Ghost. Cosmos, uh, Sully, where'd you call that power from? What's the energy source? How do you replenish it? Uh, can't you control the output level? Uh, doesn't it put any strain on your organic components? My apologies, Estelle. I, can I cannot answer those questions. What? Why not? There is no reason for me to divulge such information to anyone other than my, than my driver. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. You could uh, tell me just a little. Sorry, but no. Not even I say pretty please? Not even then. I see. <laughs> you really are a funny one, you know that? Hey, uh, can I have a few of those clothes of yours and stuff? Yes, that would not be a problem. Really nice. I see, so that's how they're made. Hey, can I take this off? I don't have any objectives myself. Uh, but I understand. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Just, just say no. Uh, really? You think? That's probably not an issue. But wait, still, you can't do that. Yeah, you, you can't. No, that's not. That's not. Not. No. Don't do that. No means no. Uh, and I think I spent plenty of time uh, dawdling around here. Or dawdling around here. Not, I don't know. Uh, dw dw dawdling out here. Uh, let's hurry along and meet uh, Emperor Nile. You're no fun. And now we go to Monsieur, Monsieur Nile, Monsignor. Uh, that's that's some French. I don't know French. I'm not speak French. What's French? Never heard of it before. Why something weird? Yo, would you look at that? It's a heart to heart that we're not gonna view. One moment, please. That blade will have to wait outside. Are you referring to me? Yes, you. But Cosmos is a member of our team. That blade is far too dangerous. You cannot allow it to have an audience with His Majesty. That seems unnecessary. May you please stand down? E Emperor Nile? But, but if I may, Your Majesty. This blade was just responsible for. Uh, that is quite all right. Uh, we would have suffered far greater damage if it were not for her efforts. Besides which, her driver is more than worthy of our trust. Uh, there's no cause for concern. Now nah, please leave her be. As you wish, Your Majesty. I apologize for all that. Uh, I feel the business uh, you bring from King Yolajiminos may have something to do uh, with the recent artificial blade attack. Uh, could you explain what you know? I see. Artificial blades going to berserk. Uh, I presume that includes the artificial blades that attacked us just now. Uh, yes, uh, they appear to have lost the capacity to take orders and gone berserk, just like what we saw before. Just like those we saw before. I don't know why I said what. I don't know. Uh, right now, the Titans of Moradain. Tantal and Uriah are all gathered around the world tree. 
Uh, there is real danger that the artificial blades uh, torn and released upon uh, the tree could attack those nearby nations. Hmm, I think I understand the situation now. We may have been lucky enough to avoid any major damage so far, but this is not a threat that we can simply ignore. Uh, we will work with Tantal and Uriah to find a solution to this problem. Thank you for your understanding. No need to thank me. Uh, community efforts uh, you have put in, I have done uh, precious little. Uh, the, last I, the least I can do is take care of the situation while you focus on the task you must attend to. Yes, Your Majesty. In that case, we'll take our leave. Hey, big bro. What is it? Uh, you're all <clears throat> you're all done with your job here now, right? I guess so. We reported what we came here to report. Uh, take me to the land of Mortha, then. Not a chance. Why not? You're free to go uh, where you want now, right? Like hell, we're gonna take you to that to a dangerous place like that. I thought you already gave up on that on that idea after my old man told you no anyway. Gave up is such a strong word. I asked him to travel, to let me travel all of all the rest, and he said yes to that. So naturally, that means I can go to the land of Morth now, right? That's some pretty strained logic. Uh, you're pretty cunning for such a little lass. Uh, very promising. Tor, no, don't encourage her. At least not now. She doesn't even have any self-defense measures. Why would you ever go to the land of Mortha like that? Oh, come on. Oh, you know you want to take me to the land of Mortha. I ain't budging. I can come up with all these silly loopholes you like. Uh, no still means no. Oh, you're so useless. You stubborn prodigal old man. Prodigal old... That's pretty rich coming from the likes of you. So, why do you want to go to Mortha so bad anyway? It's not a place I... It's not exactly what I call a fun place to visit. Uh, you just don't appreciate it properly. And just a glimpse of its landscape would be an immensely valuable experience. And besides, it's a treasure trove of potential discoveries. Uh, so many things uh, you'd never find anywhere else. Initially... Oops! Oops, I accidentally pressed A. I skipped that dialogue. You don't understand what you're talking about. Let's just pretend Zeke cut her off. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, yeah, that, make, that makes sense, yeah. Uh, the place is crawling with dangerous monsters. You realize that. Uh, you're a kid without e even a blade to defend yourself. They'd gobble you up in two seconds flat. How are you planning to search uh, for anything in a place like that? Benson Co. is supposed to protect me. But they're around. I'd be totally safe, wouldn't I? Uh, where do you get out demanding stuff like that? Uh, the king told me to told you to protect me, didn't he? Sure, but he didn't tell us to indulge your crazy ideas. I'm going whether you like it or not. You can't stop me, Uncle. You can't even get there in the first place, but okay. Not happening. End of story. Hey, Kospo. What, what do you think, Kospos? You'll come with me, won't you? I will obey whatever orders I'm given. See, Kosmos says she doesn't mind. No. You're not even Kosmos' like driver, so she won't obey you if the driver says no, which would be Nia in this case. However, my first uh, duty is to protect my master. Uh, protecting you would uh, necessarily be a lower priority task. Is that acceptable? Huh? There, you see? Uh, you're not Kosmos' driver, so uh, you don't get to drag her around to whatever, wherever. Now, quit being a stubborn little bread and hurry on home to Tantal. Zeke, that was kind of mean, but yeah, you're still right. Y you're wrong, alright? I know you may not be your dryer, but Cosmos is my friend. Cosmos will protect me, I know she will. You better rest already. It's like walking into a children fight. Listen, Zeke, there's no point standing uh, around arguing. It seems pretty clear Estelle isn't going to back down anytime soon. Uh, why don't we just give her a quick look at the land of Mortha, then bring her straight back. Seriously, I can't drag uh, you guys all the way down there just to indulge the whims of some stubborn little girl. Uh, it's not mu uh, so much trouble. Uh, we owe his majesty a favor anyway. But still, if things uh, even look the slightest bit dangerous, we're taking you straight out of there, got that? Sounds fine by me. Shall we get going then, Cosmos? Wow. I can't believe it. Rex, this is your fault if anybody dies. Anyway.
Were they say Cliffs of Morth or Landermorth? I can't remember. Landermorth, though, okay. Long journeys make Tora tired. What the fallen skyscrapers we want to go. Let's go. Okay, so we want to go like up here, but I don't remember exactly where the thing is. Okay, I gotta zoom out, and that makes everything easier. There we go. I can zoom back in now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see where to go because like this isn't like straight. It goes up like at an angle, kind of thing. Whatever. Anyway. We're now on the correct level for this. Yes. Hmm. They seem to be having fun. Yeah. Looking at them now, they almost seem like a great team. No, it's not this one either. Oh, where is it? I was so sure I'd find it here. Estelle, are you looking for something? Huh? Oh, uh, um... If you tell me what your objective is, I can scan the surrounding area for it. This will markedly increase the likelihood of success. I'm sure that's true, but I need to keep this secret. I promise to tell you afterwards, though. Understood. Cosmos, look, look! Beware. Astel, leg it! Ah! Cosmos? Are you unhurt? Hey, you need to be a bit more careful, Cosmos. What if you'd have hurt yourself? It's okay. Please do not worry about me. And, more urgently, please conceal yourself behind me for a moment. I will take care of this swiftly. You'd better not get hurt, Cosmos. But you'd better not lose, either. Incompatible orders received, but orders acknowledged. Adjusting priority order of prime directives. Prioritizing orders from Estelle. And now let's kill the weird dudes. <laughs> now we're going to do AOE. Hit like every single one at once. There we go. Dead. We gotta pick up all this money. Heck yeah. And it's dead. Nice. Ghostbusters, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I am quite alright. Are you unhurt, Estelle? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, not scratch on me, thanks to you. That's a relief to hear. Oh, Ghostbusters, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all my fault you got dragged to this mess. I didn't mean for this to happen. Uh, there's no need for concern. Protecting you is what I'm here for. But, so you get it now? Uh, when you act selfish, uh, you're not just endangering yourself. Uh, people who care about you could get hurt too. Uh, maybe you'll thank Swice before demanding to come to a place like this again. Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. No need for that, you've already been through enough here. As long as you understand, uh, that's all that matters. Oh yeah, did you find what you were looking for in the end? Uh-huh, look what I have right here. That is some kind of machine part? Yeah, that's in Cosmos. 
Uh, when we get back to Tantal, there's one more thing I'd like to, uh, you to do. Would you be okay with that? Uh, you're still not done making demands? That's not it. There's something. There's something. I want to give to Cosmos. So, Cosmos, I'd like you to come to my room. I promise I won't cause me a triple, so please. What do you think, Zeke? Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Really? Thanks, big bro. I swear, uh, you really pick your times to act all cutesy. Are you fine with this too, Cosmos? Yes, I see no problem. Now let's head back to Tantal. Uh, my room's in the hall of reception, I'll see you there. And now we go back to Tantal! But this time we don't have to go and see Kingy Man because we skipped all past where he's at. Aw oh, yeah. Came a pretty long way, hey? Onwards! Welcome to my room. You say well outside of it. Well, I don't actually live here as such. I'm just it's just where I'm saying well I'm here at uh Deal Scaldia. Isn't this some kind of storeroom? Uh, it doesn't need to be fancy. A dingy old place like this is perfect for my experiments. Uh no, dingy, not dingy. Why did I say dingy? Denji says. Uh, now, Cosmos, uh, you just wait here for a moment while I get everything ready. As you wish it still. You're gonna seem to put the final touches on. Sorry for the wait, Cosmos. Everybody else left. <laughs> Alright, sorry for the wait, Cosmos. Uh, this is what I wanted to give you. It's a present. This is for me. I'll listen. Uh, while I was observing you, I noticed you didn't have perfect control of your power. Uh, it can't be easy to keep. Uh, powers uh, that strong under control all the time. So be but so if you wait what? Uh, but if you use this device, it should be much easier to manage. Uh, you'll be able to fight without worrying about keeping yourself in check all the time. I think that's it'll be use really useful. Uh, still, that's in cosmos. Uh, abilities powerful yours are very dangerous. Are very dangerous thing to have. But I think uh, you probably have them for a reason. Uh, the world. Uh, needs that kind of strike up right now. Uh, King Eel, Gen Minos, and Emperor Nile both seem to think it's fine as long as your driver, keep, driver keeps you in check. Uh, but who wants to rely on a driver for everything, right? If you master uh, the use of your own powers, uh, you can become the ultimate blade. Maybe even save all rest. I hate to break it to you, but uh, we already killed Malos. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I'm your best friend, so I should know. When did we become best friends? Come on, Cosmos. Just go along with it, okay? Uh, you just keep supporting uh, these guys on in their mission, okay, Cosmos? Uh, I have a feeling that if you help Rex and the and Morag and my uncle, that's a lot of ands. You just use commas, okay? Uh, you'll be able to save all of all rest someday. Understood. Uh, are you sure it is alright for me to accept this for nothing, though? Well, she's apparently your best friend. Uh, who downs? Uh, who turns down a gift from their uh, bestie? From a uh, bestie, excuse me. Uh, thank you, Estelle. I promise to make good use of it. Thanks. Come by in and visit anytime, okay? I promise. I will visit. We are friends after all. There you go, Cosmos. Good job. Best friend, you mean? Side quest complete. That is it. That is the side quest. And you know what? That means we're gonna open the door. It's it's she even in here? Oh yeah, she is cool. Okay, we're not gonna talk to her. Sorry. Instead, we're gonna find a cliff to jump off of. This is a cliff. Can I get up here? No, I can't. Crap. Ooh, I can get up here. All right, are you ready for this? Okay. So, uh, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we do we get another side quest. Uh, the blade looks kind of similar to Cosmos, but it's not from Xenosaga. So yeah, uh, and then after that we'll do a side quest of a blade from Xenosaga. And then after that we'll do the, like, hardest, not hardest, excuse me, the longest blade quest in the entire game. And then we'll be, uh, do an extra episode of this, which is not gonna have any side quests, it's gonna have some extra things that, uh, I haven't shown yet. And then we'll start on the frickin', uh, frickin' Tone of the Golden Country. So yeah, I will see ya next time when we do a side quest. And then another side quest, another side quest, and then we'll be done with side quest eventually. So yeah, uh, I'm off a cliff now and I'm going to die.
Looking at them now, they almost seem like a great team. Keyword almost. Beware. Astel, beware. <laughs> but why would you say beware out of all words? Like, look out is so much better. Cosmo Rex, did you just use Pyro's ability while you have Mythos? So how does hey, that work? You need to be a bit more careful. 